All right. So we yeah. got Yogo in the bottom right hand side and his opponent with the last race that we haven't seen him with. The very impressive today, Alex from Ukraine. Yeah, so, let's see if Asterian is as good as his other races are. Yeah, any predictions on how he might play Asterian? Uh, I would I would say maybe if I was a random player, I would play Mech, to be honest. I think it's easier. Easier Why? to be good at. It's uh, a lot more about just having a build order and then you can do a straight up push rather than uh, multitasking and having to know all the specific answers to all the different timings that Zerg can do. Mech is usually just also very safe uh, in the early game and you can do a lot of different stuff. But uh, like if you play random, you only get turned like a small portion of the time. Don't you feel like Mech is one of the styles where you need to be like super refined or you think it doesn't matter? Like it's you still would be okay if you have like a very high understanding of StarCraft 2. Yeah, no, I feel like Mech is uh, is is uh, the style where you can freestyle a lot more, which is good for a random player. So you don't have to yeah. play the builds as smooth as possible because you keep making Hellions anyways. You don't need to have your barracks exactly at the right moment, you know. Yeah. Knowing Alex, though, I don't know. Picture, I picture him as more of a bio guy, more like especially like you know, Terran is not exactly the race with which. You're gonna do crazy all in all the time unless you start resorting to proxies and all that, which, yeah, like so far we don't see Alex going into at all. That would have been a pretty yeah. sick mind game, but maybe he picked up on the fact that Yugo scouts very early, and he was like, well, even if I do like a proxy barracks to try and really surprise him, he's one of those guys that scouts early on, so he would know pretty quickly. Whereas maybe if Yugo hadn't scouted and he would have done that, that could have been very smart because then Yugo wouldn't have been ready, I think. Yeah, for sure. Actually, one thing that we see here, which is uh, a bit uncommon is that Alex here is opening up with a reactor instead of a reaper first. This very often leads into hellbed timings, where you make like four marines from the barracks with the reactor and then one hellion first and a starport right away. So I'm looking forward to if this is actually what he does. And also this is knowing that Yogo sacrifices some minerals in the early game to go for the scout. And then I'm not sure if he really does any follow-up scouting. On this map also, Note that there is no real good overlord spot. The, the first high ground that you really have with the overlord is at the bottom of the natural, so it's it's not an easy map to scout on for Zerg. Yeah. How do you like the, actually the new maps, like balance wise, everything, like design wise, and everything? I think uh, I like some of them. For example, this map I think is really good. It it features like I I like maps in general where you can have multiple different paths of expanding. So where I have a bit more freedom to do whatever I want. And then there is there are some apps that I really don't like. For example, Stasis as a Zerg is very bad. It's, it's just a very extreme map, right? They always yeah. have this one very extreme map. And then I don't like the design of Automaton as well. But the other the other maps I, I really like. But we're not at the point where you feel like you don't have enough vetoes for the maps that you don't appreciate, right? Yeah, no, no. I think that I think it's fine. I just veto Stasis and then that's alright. Alright, Alex gonna swap the uh, starport for the barracks here, so he's gonna have that tech lab on the starports for a banshee. Does he get yeah. cloak or not with this? That's uh, question. He, sh he should have started it already if he went for cloak. Yeah. I would have actually really liked to see some one of the new battle cruiser builds. I think that would be really cool. We can actually also see Yogo going for overlord speed, so he's actually really looking forward to scout what's going on. Yeah, so he's gonna fly in there. And sees the tech lab on the starport, sees that there is no cloak researching. Maybe Alex was already counting on that. He's like 10 steps ahead. He's one of those Grandmaster <laughs> chess guy, you know, applying all that logic to StarCraft 2. Oh, he's actually going for uh, Armory right now. So he wants to go for the Hellbed Banshee. I honestly have the feeling he just forgot cloak. Because he, he could afford it with the gas he has. And yeah. this push is a lot stronger because you want to hit in between the bases. Uh, where there usually is no detection at the early at the early stage. Yogo actually is super on top of the scouting, scouted the armory, puts down a roach for an endless spine crawler, playing very safe, so not sure how effective this is gonna be for Alex. Are you one of those Zergs that like likes to get pneumatized scout pace religiously and scout with it a lot? <laughs> I actually started doing it, yeah, against Terran very often because of the battle cruiser openings. Those are very hard to scout otherwise. Yeah. Um I think but... last patch it wasn't necessary, but this patch, yeah. Is it really that dangerous, battle cruiser openings? Yeah, they they were 
the most common opening for ever since the patch. I feel yeah. like right now Zerg's kind of figured out how to deal with them, and I don't think it's gonna remain the best opening. But Which is how they were. They were super common. It's it's just having queens in the perfect position, not making your spores too early, zoning out, uh, zoning out the the Hellions at the front properly as well. It's it's yeah. kind of you need to split up your queens and move your spores according to wherever he ports. And we see additional factor is now starting. So good prediction on the mech. Impressive. Yeah. You know your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know That's why you're here. <laughs> if I didn't know I better, I'd say uh, you're, you're, you're a player, you're a pro gamer, not a caster. <laughs> actually, you're, I think you're one of those pros, actually, that's like doing the best job when you're on the Mac, like you and Harstam. So I feel like that was an easy choice to ask you guys to cast with me because you transition very easily. I actually really enjoy casting as well as well. It's just fun for me. Maybe a full yeah. switch in the future, <laughs> if you feel <laughs> if you feel tired of practicing twelve hours a day. <laughs> Maybe at some point when I start sucking too much, but until then. All right, Man, this, actually, this factory it, is gonna have to be swapped, and he starts this, two more already. Yeah, this is actually very similar to what we saw in the game before us, and that's Yo Yogo over defended. He put a spine and made many roaches to an attack that wasn't actually coming. So now he needs to do some counter regression again because they're on a similar work account, which is really good for Karen. Some links actually sneaking onto the natural. Oh, and that's that's a big deal here. I won't get that many, I guess. Five, six. Mm. Yeah, six SCVs. Better than nothing. Yeah, for sure. Oh, he's I actually like chasing roaches. <laughs> yeah. These roaches should just come back home, I think. Without speed, off creep. Yeah, bleeding out a couple of those. And now, uh, I, I wonder how good uh, Alex's macro is. Right now, he kind of forgot to switch over his factories. Oh, is he just going to go for a timing with this? I guess he will be. Yeah, he's uh, getting add-ons on all of them right now. He's massively supply locked right now. Like, it's... Massively supply locked. Yeah. It's going to be three tech labs, by the way, out of his factories and two reactors. Yeah, he's going for the Cyclone style that we talked about a bit earlier, I guess. So this was just a pressure, I think, to remove Creep with the Raven. Very nice, because you don't even need to spend any uh, scans for mm -hmm. this. Yeah, and look at Zergo's Creep right now. There's literally a single Tumor lying on the left side, and yeah. that's it. And soon, it's soon going to be gone as well, <laughs> if he goes with the Raven. Yeah. I really like the way Alex is playing, but nice Roach counter-attack with the three Roaches, getting a bunch of SCVs. Banshee is returning back home, and we are seeing these Cyclones being made. He even made one tank, but I think that's just to be safe. And right after, I have the feeling he's just gonna continuously produce Cyclones and Hellions. And then I would really like to see him uh, expand more. Actually, one thing that I think is a, a nice catcher on the Hellions. Yeah. One thing that uh, I would like to see is, if you go for the Cyclone style, to not go for attack upgrades, but rather armor upgrades. So I guess... Like this leads me to believe that Alex wants to go for a timing with tanks and cyclones. Which yeah, is pretty uncommon. he's getting tanks right now, three by yeah. three even, and getting blue flame as well. So not gonna, he's not gonna focus on cyclones this much then. I don't know. I wonder. Maybe he saw like a lot of roaches and he changed his mind. I don't know what it was, but yeah, I don't know either. It maybe felt at first like he wanted to go cyclones. Yeah. He because keeps on scanning the main base, by the way, to see the tech of Yogo. <laughs> Yogo shows some uh, betting us. There's actually a spire here without a hype even being started. <laughs> sure what that's about. He's getting corruptors against the benches, I guess. I don't know. He's getting swarmos. I like the swarmos choice here for sure. Swarmos aren't that great if your opponent is going pure cyclone, but against the tank styles, they're very good. I really don't know though about these three corruptors. I'm, I'm guessing they're against the raven and the two benches, but. Realistically, they can be sniped so easily. Alex finally gets an eBay, by the way. A little bit wary about that uh, Spire that he saw. Maybe looking to drop some turrets in each base. Just for that extra safety against Mutas. But yeah, Mutas would be very ambitious yeah, against somebody going mech with already attack upgrades. Like He's already getting Thors, even. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be an insane mix. Hellbats, tanks, a couple Cyclones thrown in there, and Thors. Yeah, and I think he really just wants to go for this timing. With plus two, just 
attack attack with everything. And usually what you want to do against a Zerg is as soon as you go Swarmos, you just want to be active on the other side of the map constantly. So it's very hard for the Terran to move out. Like usually you want Ravagers and Swarmos. Every time he sieges, you go on with the low cost. Every time he unsieges, you just kite back with Grozophiles. But he didn't start uh, attacking yet. Just now he's actually attacking into towards the natural with the Roach Corruptor. Wow, yeah, this army is looking insane. Yeah. And I guess like uh, you go for the uh, anti war missile with the Raven? Yeah, I think so for sure. On as much of uh, as much units as you can get. Okay, that overlord's yeah. just gonna be denied on the left side. <laughs> Damn that door. <laughs> get out of here. Wow, Yugo's actually looking to counter with the Swamos at the north. So I guess he's gonna evacuate that base. He doesn't have enough there. Oh my god, that he's is... fighting. That is very risky. He didn't evacuate the drones either. Wow, the locust. Yeah. The fight is going on for me right now, but yeah, the Swarmos are completely, completely out of position here. And now he's running away with the drones. And now the locusts, um, now the locusts are coming in. Yeah, so I they jump, like they jump onto the back line. I'm at 121 right now. So I think we're uh, not too you're, far you're like, You're six seconds ahead. Okay. Oh wow, that was actually a really nice engagement by Yogo. Getting rid of all the tanks, and he still has such a big bank as well. And now he's actually making mirrors after clearing up all the towers. I really like the way Yogo is playing this game. Um, this yeah. engagement was just masterful. I'm at 138. 1138, sorry. I'm 1138 now. Okay. So still three seconds. I'll slow I, down I feel you. like your game is just quicker than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. But... I got a pretty good computer. <laughs> you got the good internet, I got the good computer. Maybe one day we can make yeah, both mix, mix together. Alright, so Alex, I was surprised actually that uh, Yogo got some sort of cleanup, you know, and even defended as well as he did there. I thought Alex's army was looking so strong. Uh, it was really strong, but I feel like it wasn't properly microed. So you, you want to have the halberds on top of the tanks, so the locals can never really find find tanks in the back lane like they did just now. And then the tanks were firing at the locals and the roaches went in. It was just very well done, honestly, by Yogo. And now he has Mutas, and the only anti-air that's left right now are Cyclones. Which aren't the greatest against Mutas, unless you have uh, equal numbers. Yeah, Alex trying to hold on here on the fourth base. The third base still being sieged though. The Swamos are just chilling up there on the high ground. Ready to send yeah. in the Locust. And Mutas not gonna fly in. Did he get turrets? Yeah, yeah he got a few, but the Mutas jump on top of the tanks. This is the worst feeling, right? When you're playing mech and then finally like the opponent starts seeding you everywhere. Finding damage here and there. Yeah, especially because his army is not big enough to just split up. So he just kind of keeps chasing away the single fights of Yogo's army. And he's getting and, some armor upgrades now with Cyclones. Yeah, meanwhile Yogo is on Hive. He could just, in theory, he could transition into uh, Brood Lords anytime he wants. And he's getting a massive bank during all of this. He's not really using losing a lot of units here. Yeah, this is the first time that uh, Alex actually started using the Cyclones as they're meant to be used, where you just constantly try to keep fighting and then walking back. That's also why they're very good against Swarmos, because they are very quick and you can force the Locusts to to be activated far away from your base. But in this case, the Locusts are very close to the planetary and I feel like this planetary won't last for too long. And Tama Missile landing on some of these Ravagers there. Hylex looking, still looking to try and clean up Mutas in his main base in the meantime. Yeah, the only turret is in the middle line, so now the depot is going to be targeted. And that was the cooldown supply as well, now that got sniped. Pretty annoying one to lose. Yeah, for sure. I think the only chance that Alex has is try to get to 200 supply and then like win against two armies in a row. But it's going to be very hard if Yogo continues to trade like this. Yeah, because Yogo is like well saturated across many bases. Actually, he hasn't saturated the gas on, on the top right, but as soon as he does that, like just it, the gas income for Zerg, once you reach five bases, he's just so insane. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. And now the Mutas are coming in again at the third base, so Alex is completely all in with this push. His army isn't small at all though, like, he, he just doesn't have a lot of tanks. So he needs to kite back and I feel like, on creep against Slings and Banes and Locusts and Roaches and Ravagers. I just, I just feel like that Yogo with, 
the ability to remax can clean, clean us up eventually. Yeah, he did lose a lot here though, but ends up pulling back with whatever he can. The Swamo is still left untouched for the most part. Oh, he's actually gonna try and jump them! How far away are we? Locust? I think they're like a quarter missing. Yep. Some of them finally reloaded. Okay, he might have to get out of there. Oh, Got nice some of them. Nice fangle on the Locust. And once the Cyclones are surrounded, or even as soon as they're touched by any of the units, they're just falling over. And uh, I think finally Yogo managed to clean up the most important part of Alex's army. And looks like he wants to tie up the series. And yeah, Rosemuda is finally coming to the rescue as well. Maybe target it down perhaps. Cyclones looking to try and clean up as much as they can. The third base died, the fourth base died. Alex gonna have to fly, yeah, he's gonna fly his man all be told to uh, that top right hand side one that he had earlier. Yeah, I, I guess Alex didn't know how big Yogo's tank was really, but uh, there's not much he can do at this point. It's kind of hard to fight roaches on creep. They're so fast, even if he gets the lock on. Yeah, but you, you need to... Them. And then watch the fight off creep, and the roaches just can't do anything. It's, it's quite funny how this interaction works. Yeah, and uh, Yogo now completely on top of this army. Gonna get the second map win.